Hello my fellow edgy peeps. Today I will show you how to shade. Also I'm sorry but this isn't a spooky video and I didn't have enough time for that. So you want to shade good? Well I'm not the best at it but I'll try to help you. First off, think of the drawing as a 3D object. I know you're drawing on a 2D surface but try to think that the thing you're drawing has depth to it. It's, it's in the real world. It's 3D. Second, don't place highlights where they don't belong. To help you with this, you can add a little sun anywhere on the drawing telling you, hey, this is where the light is, so you know where to put the highlights. So don't have the light source on the left side of the character, but have highlights on the left and right side of the character. Doesn't make any sense. Where does the highlights from the right side come from? The light source is from the left side. Third, don't shade with black. Okay, that's a joke. You could shade with black if you want to. But if you're inexperienced with shading, then you probably shouldn't use black. Using black to shade is used a lot in comics, and that's because they have been drawing professionally for years and they know how to make it look good. You should pick the color you're shading, turn the hue to a warmer color, and set the layer you're shading to to multiply. Or you can shade the color of your background onto the character. If you shade with black, your character tends to look dirty and a little bit flat in a way. Not really shaded. Fourth, don't forget to highlight the light parts. If you add dark spaces to your drawing, it may look shaded, but without highlights, your character will look a little flat and a little bit more dull. Fifth, make sure your background fits. You don't always have to have a fitting background, but your drawing looks a bit nicer with a fitting background. If you have a really bright character with lots of highlights and not a lot of shading, you shouldn't have a background that's like a dark, realistic forest. And vice versa. If you don't want to add a detailed background, it's best to have a pastel background or dulled out neon colors as your background. If you really wanted to go fancy, then you could have a contrasting background from your character. So having a really dark and blue character, maybe like a bright and yellow background or a mid-tone of blue. You could have a dark character with a dark background if you really wanted to, but I would advise against that unless it's a really detailed background. That's all I have for you today and have fun on your art journey.